Oh, friend. Today we are going to chat about the solar plex center, this emotional intelligence. So, um, this center is a motor and it's also moving into an awareness center. Um, this awareness is going to um, really begin to reveal itself as we cross over into 2027 and move into our next cross of the evolution. So it is moving into this awareness, but it is, it is a motor. So when you look at the solar plex, the solar plex center is associated with our lungs, our kidneys, our pancreas, our prostate gland, or the male prostate gland, and the nervous system. Every center in design is um, correlated biologically um, with something in our body. Because when we discover dis-ease in our bodies, we can really then um, look at what what's going on. Um, you know, is what kind of decisions have been made? Um, is the mind running amok? Those kind of things. So again, not a doctor, totally not a doctor, and this is not um, not to replace your um, relationships with you know your your physician your any any medical doctor any chiropractor acupuncture all of that this is not to replace it it just gives us a roadmap and and a deeper understanding of you know what might need to be released or integrated however you want to say so the theme of this center is feelings it's emotions it's sensitivity and the emotional intelligence runs in a wave pattern. And this wave pattern brings us to a place of emotional clarity and well-being. So the wave moves from pleasure to pain. And um, if you checked out the, um, the solar plexus, the inner authority, um, I showed that in there as well, and I'm going to show it here. But... The, the emotional wave, when it is defined, so when the, the center is defined in your, in your, in your body graph, then, then it means that this is actually your emotional intelligence, okay? Or your inner authority, sorry. And, and it runs in this wave pattern of, you know, ooh, pleasure up here and pain and pleasure and pain, and it moves back and forth. So when it's defined, the center actually releases this wave pattern and this chemistry so that we can experience the feelings, needs, and desires that um, you know, you're here to become emotionally intelligent about. So understand that you're not the wave. Okay? You are here to experience the wave. And this is the key to comprehending your pattern um, you know, when it is defined. <sighs> One of the analogies I used, and I probably used it in the other video, was the surfer. You know, the surfer gets on his surfboard, and he becomes very in tune and aware with his body and the wave. But he doesn't want to fall into the wave, because if he falls into the wave, he's either getting, you know, spit out of the ocean, or, you know, he's going to get drowned by the ocean. So there's your pleasure and your pain type thing. And the emotional wave, what you're waiting for is this beautiful clarity. Like when, when a surfer talks about um, when he's in this little tunnel of a wave, um, it's clean, it's crisp, it's um, quiet, it's, you know, surreal. And really that's where you want to get to when you're, when you're defined in your body graph in the, mo in, in the solar plex. This clarity gives you a sense of, okay, um, I'm, I'm either ready to move into the decision or not, okay? So if you have it defined, like understand that it's really healthy to cry and it's healthy to express your emotions. Like it's healthy for everybody to do that. However, 
here it's so important because what happens in our world and 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 we're kind of you know humans make me giggle a little bit and shake my head <laughs> um is emotions scare people so we condition people to to not express their emotions and people that have this defined, if this is you, know that it is so healthy for you to cry. It is so healthy for you to um, be in tune and in touch with your emotions because that, you know, being in touch with it gives you that emotional intelligence that you need to make decisions. You know, of course, if the center is defined in the body graph, it's your inner authority. And I said that earlier. So the nervousness that happens here in this center, it is just an indication of where you are on your timeline and if you have reached clarity or not. If you're still nervous about something, you haven't been able to, you know, um, process the fear of it. And I'm not going to get into all the fears um, here in this short little video. But... The, the nervousness is there because it gives you a clear indication. Are you at clarity? Have you processed this fear? Have you processed this nervousness? Have you been able to, um, you know, I don't really want to say the word confront, but have you been able to step into that nervousness and walk through it? So the nervousness is where the fears of the solar plex are, and by riding, the, that's supposed to say wave, you come to the emotional intelligence necessary for the decision. Because it's all about emotional intelligence. If you have this defined in your body graph, everything is about emotional intelligence. Everything. And in order for you to really step into that emotional intelligence, you have to be in tune with the nervousness. And it's okay to be nervous. Know that. It's okay. It's okay to express your emotions. So if it's undefined, this is where, you know, so 50% of the population have it defined. The other 50 do not. So the 50 that do not are trying to get the people that have the center defined to suppress their emotions, hide them, don't, don't express them. And then what's happening is the 50% of the people that are undefined and should just be able to filter through those emotions, they then amplify them. They absorb them and amplify them. And they look like the emotional people. And, and here's my example. I have a really good friend. Um, she has the emotional authority as her defined in her body graph. And her and I worked together many, many, many years ago at a financial institution. And I remember like doing this to her, like, you know, go away. Don't hug me. Don't. Because anytime she would come near me and express her emotions like, I didn't know how to process that in my body. And, you know, that's how we become conditioned. So then instead of, you know, being able to feel it and let it just flow through me and know that it's her emotions, it's not my emotions, that's where the distortion field comes in and then that amplification. So if she was crying, I was crying harder. So... That's the piece that that became such a great aha for me in all of this is because I had no idea. Like when I'm just me being on my own, there really is no, there's, there's, there's no emotions like per se there. Like there, I do have emotions. I'm not cold hearted per se, but um, like I'm not riding anything. Like I'm not, but as soon as those emotional people would come around me, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Walk into a room and, you know, I would, it was almost like taking on those emotions. 
So, you know, people with undefined emotional um, intelligence or undefined solar plex, like, holy man, are we regaining a ton of wisdom. And instead of absorbing and amplifying it, I can totally just go, all right, this is how this room is feeling. And I don't have to change who I am in order to, to be in this room. I can just be completely aware of it and have great amounts of wisdom from it. So instead of being conditioned by it and attempting to make decisions from my mind, I can go, "Uh uh-uh, my inner authority is guiding me moment by moment by moment. I understand the feelings and emotions that are going on here, but I'm not making decisions off them. I'm not going to, like, you know, not make a decision that's healthy for me because the mind says you might hurt somebody else's feelings. I'm not here to hurt your feelings. I'm just here to, to, to stand up for me and to step into my inner authority and allow it to guide. So if it's a no that, you know, I'm not going to be wherever, I don't do it to hurt your feelings. I do it to be healthy for me. So that's the difference between the undefined and the defined. The defined is gaining that, you know, they are, they are operating in an emotional intelligence way, as long as they're doing it healthy. Where people with an undefined, they're gaining the wisdom from all of these emotional people. And not making decisions off that emotionality. Where the emotional people, they're making decisions off of that. You know, what are their needs? What are their desires? All of that. They're making decisions based off of that. So one thing that's, you know, critical and, and something that the creator of human design, Ra Uruhu, has always, always said is this information is for the children. This is not for, um, you know, all these adults on this planet. It's for the children. And when we have this and we have their body graph and we have their, you know, their roadmap and their blueprint, We can raise them properly. So what's really, you know, I'm not saying that people aren't raising their kids properly. That's not what I'm saying. In a healthy way so that these kids can stay healthy and vital and strong and, you know, enjoy the experience of life and and enjoy, um, um, you know, seeing the patterns and, and walking through any kind of fear. That's what's fun about this. But what's happening is, you know, if, the, if a child has this undefined or completely open, you know, that's where the completely openness is really like this, um, the picture here on the screen. The completely open can be very, very overwhelming to the nervous system. And, um, you know, I have had clients that have it completely open and there is some kind of neurological um, how do I want to say, it's not a dis-ease, but there'll be a, a neurological um, effect that's happening in their body that, you know, by just paying attention to it, that, that they can understand it a little better. So young kids can act out because they are so bombarded by the emotions of other people and then they don't know how to cope with it. They don't know what to do with it. So then they amplify it and distort it and, and they look like the emotional people. And what we want to do is just say, no, just let that stuff flow through. Just become aware of it. You know, these children are, are put in, um, you know, classrooms and schools and, 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 confined most of, the, most of their day um, with a whole ton of people. And having the center undefined, let me tell you, as a young kid, I, <coughs> I, so, I so get this. You know, I, 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 in my opinion, I was lucky. I had the 36 gate. <clears throat> And that really is all about composure. And, you know, I, I, I really learned over time how to balance all of this in me. You know, even before I knew human design, you know, there were still times I was avoiding things, don't get me wrong. Um, but I started to grok the information on how to, how to balance that emotion and how to, how to really support other people 
through their emotional times. So if any of this is, is fun and, you know, um, tweaking any kind of interest, I would love to, to chat about it. Um, see if, you know, you want to walk through some coaching and um, understand your design a little better. Because I, geez, when I look at and read books and pay attention to what's going on in the world, like, holy man, this, this, this map is quite profound. And it really can bring a new sense of health and wellness to people. And again, totally not a doctor. So thank you very much for listening and uh, enjoy.